What's going on folks? Welcome back. Another cold one. It was 20 below first thing this morning. It was 12 below when we left the house. Packed really light today. Just brought my hand dogger, flasher, jig rod, and some camera stuff. I'm just gonna be jigging. I'm not setting out any traps. My brother is gonna set out a few traps and uh, jig a little bit too. But uh, we struck gold where we are right here. We're walking on solid ground, no slush, no snow. I don't know how well you can see the division there, but there's anywhere from a foot to a foot and a half of snow uh, that we had a snowshoe in on. But this place has white perch, yellow perch, bass, pickerel, and this place does have rainbow trout, although I don't plan on getting into any rainbow trout. There are some in here. But we're gonna search around and see if we can find some fish. duct tape on you do ya? Just a little. I cut my my transducer cable. It's a little bit of a boo-boo this morning. I was changing holes. I had about a six inch piece of cable, transducer cable, in the bottom of the jet sled and I set my auger down for like five seconds and uh, the blade hit and uh, cut the cable. So what I'm trying to do is just splice these back together and hopefully it works. Because th th this won't be in the water. This will be outside of the water. Yeah, I'm just going to like splice them together with little pieces of, I mean, little pieces yeah, of duct tape. Right. Come on. There's some tape for you in here. I don't know. All right, black ones. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I'm hoping if I just splice them together, put some duct tape on, it'll work. But I may have to buy a, a new cable. Not what you want to do when you're out on the ice and it's uh, below zero. All right, connection one, hopefully done. No loose wires. All right, a real ugly fix. Luckily, I was able to get some duct tape off of one of my brother's tackle boxes, and hopefully that's enough to send a signal down. Come on, baby. Yes, it's working. I'm shocked that worked. Seems like it's working. I don't hear any clicking through the connection there. But I do have to keep that out of the elements because that is not waterproof. Got a fish down there that's come up from bottom. He's up about three feet off bottom looking at it. And he's going back down, came back up. Come on, he's coming up to it. He just won't touch it. Got him, got him. Little one, a little yellow perch. First fish, little one. There, got another one. Another one. A little yellow perch. Little guys. Still not the mark that is the big red one down there. There's a bigger fish down there. I just can't get that one to come in and bite. This fish is staying just about two feet off bottom. Whereas them little ones come up from the bottom, they go right past that big mark I'm getting and will take it. So I don't know if that's a big perch or that could be a bass down there, could be a trout, could be a rainbow. Certainly not acting like the perch are. Ah, oh, that was a nice hit. That was a nice hit. I'm gonna change up bait. Them fish really haven't been hitting that sucker, so I'm gonna try a night crawler. See if that works any better. That fish is coming up immediately. Yeah, something hit, but probably took my tail. Nope, surprisingly, tail's still on there. They definitely reacted better to the night crawler. Three or four fish came right up for it in one hit, but um, I thought it took my, my crawler, so I brought it back up. All right, I'm gonna relocate. I was still marking fish down there, but I think it's just a bunch of them small perch, so. I'm going to head out a little deeper, see if I can find some better fish. So I have a couple really nice marks on the screen, but these fish I cannot get to bite. They're being very fussy. They're not acting like the perch I've caught the past couple days. What they're doing is they're coming up looking at it, going right back down. Coming up looking at it, going right back down. Got him, got him. Finally got one of them fish. Little tiny perch, but 
I'll take it. I've been working these guys for about 10 minutes on this hole and that's the first fish I've actually been able to get. A little tiny perch. Just all these little guys. I can't get out of them. Bunch of fish down there. I'm surprised there's not any bigger ones with it. This fish just followed it six feet up and is still just looking at it. I got a big mark down there. I just can't get it to bite. There's a fish down there that's been staring at me for like 20 minutes, but he won't take. That's what he does. He just comes up and looks at it. Huh. Got him. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. There we go. Better be a big oh, one. Yeah. That's a better fish. Think it's a big, big one? Well, I don't know. It's bigger than the other ones. Even if that's a bigger perch, I'll be happy. I've been working that thing for like 20 minutes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice white perch. White. Nice white perch, there we go. Woo! Ah. That's one of the fish we're after right there. Big white perch. This could have been the fish I've been working like the past 20 minutes. He did the uh, exact same thing he did five or six times earlier. He'd come up, look at it, and take right off. There we go. Biggest white perch of the season. All right, hopefully there's some more of them down there. I had to search through about 10 of them little tiny yellow perch to get that one. Yellow perch. I'm gonna take a quick walk. I need to warm up a little bit. My brother's got a flag, so I'm gonna take a quick walk and go see what he has. Uh, anything? No. That's something. Something small? Yeah. It's probably a pickerel. Pickerel? Yeah, cool guy. Little baby. So just a little pickerel. Got to head back out to the jig hole. Got him. Got that one. Little yellow perch. Why so many little yellow perch? That little perch flew right by a mark that had been watching me for like a minute or two. So there's still some big fish down there, but they're just uh, they're being a little fussier than the small ones are. Got one. A little bit of a fish. Oh, a little white perch. Nice. Second white perch of the day. A little too small to eat. So many fish down there, I can't even tell where's the bottom. Got him. Got him. About time. This is like possibly. Oh, another white perch. Third white perch of the day. Uh, I'm in about 30. So I changed how my worm was sitting on that. I just did a straight piece versus doing a, uh, putting the hook right through the middle so it made a V. And uh, first drop down, that perch was on it. No, that's what I've been having. Like, there's the bottom. Got it? Oh, this is, this is on the roof of the but. Huh? Oh, I like put sand here. Is that bigger or are you just being awkward with it? <laughs> That's what I mean. I think I'm just being awkward with it. I don't know what's going on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, nice little yellow. It literally just had a piece of nightcrawler disappear into thin air. Mm -hmm. Probably stuck to you. There are so many fish down there right now, it's ridiculous. Yeah, me too. I'd like to get another fish or two, then I'll be out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here for another couple minutes, then I'll be out. Another one. 
bunch of fish down there right now. That bottom is just loaded with fish. All right, folks, I am just about done. I'm gonna try to pick up another fish or two and then I'm gonna get out of here. It's getting pretty cold and I still have, I don't know, probably a mile walk back I gotta do. Maybe a little better of a fish. Oh, another white perch. Wrapped up in the cable. Nice white perch. Sorry, little guy. Two or three fish coming up for this already. Screaming. Four or five fish down there. I don't know why I can't get these fish. Um, these are the most aggressive fish I've seen so far, but I just can't hook one. So the behavior of these fish have changed significantly within the past five minutes. They're much more aggressive now. They're coming right up to it and hitting it immediately versus just looking at it like they were before. But uh, I'm just about done though. I'd love to stay here and fish, but I am froze. I've been out here for about three hours and just about at my limit. My feet are froze and my low back is, is pretty cold. Looking to get one more fish, so I'm gonna call it quits. Fish on me right now. If this one takes it, we're gonna end it with this one. Come on. There we go. This fish came about six feet off the of bottom for it. And I said I was looking for one more fish, but there's another fish down there that came up for this one. So I'm just gonna give this other fish one, <clears throat> one more shot. And if he doesn't hit within a minute or two, I'm gonna get out of here. But he came up with this one. So I'm just gonna see if he's interested in biting. All right, yeah, that fish is coming up. He's, my jig's down 10 feet and he just came up eight. Nine feet, 10 feet. Now he's right on me. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. This is not a little, little perch. Wow, this is uh, certainly the best fish of the day. I'm not sure what this fish is. It's uh, peeling out some pretty good line though. Oh, another big white perch. Oh, look at the size of that perch. That's bigger than the first one. Look at the size of that perch. And I was gonna leave after that last one. Awesome, that's what we're looking for, it's fish like that. So that's two fish into my last uh, fish there, but I'm gonna give it one more shot just to see if there's more of them down there. That fish came up 10 feet and uh, smoked this. And of course I catch my biggest fish on the last drop. Get him. What do we have? Oh, the size of the fish are getting a little bigger. Oh, my hands are frozen. The hand I keep rebaiting with is absolutely frozen. I guess it's actually starting to sting a little bit. I think we're going to end with this fish here. This feels like another little perch. Yeah, we're going to. We're gonna end it here. I can't take it anymore, I'm froze. My feet are starting to hurt. My fingers are pretty well hurting from having to rebate. I'm gonna uh, wrap it up and call it good. All right guys, I'm tapping out. It's too cold. My feet are froze, my hands are froze. So real quick, I'll show you what I was using. Using the same 28 inch medium that I've been using the past few episodes. Um, conventional reel, way too big of a setup for what I need, but it's all I have. I have an inline reel coming, hopefully be here in a few days. So I'll go over that once I get it. Uh, four pound mono leader attached to 10 pound Power Pro braid. And I was fishing in about 30 feet of water today, 32 feet of water. And picked up some decent fish. We certainly had to weed through all the small ones. But 
picked up two monster white perch and a couple of yellow perch that were decent. But definitely getting used to the flasher, getting the hang of it. And like I said in my past few episodes, the flashers are amazing. I wish I would have picked one up years ago. There was points there where them fish were completely clouding out the bottom two feet of the water column. There's so many fish in there. But I'm uh, heading out of here, so we'll see you guys in the next one.